What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you about the various stages of the DISA failure in the E46 330 or any M54 engined BMW for that matter. So the DISA came out because I was replacing the CCV crankcase ventilation system on the BMW and I thought I'd just have a look at the state of the DISA and having looked at other videos and online resources kind of figured out the various stages of DISA failure. Okay, so we'll start off with what would be the worst case scenario, a DISA that's about to imminently fail. So the worst case scenario would be a DISA flap that's flapping around freely and the shaft itself doesn't look perfectly straight, it's a little wobbly and this end piece here looks a little loose. If you've got any of those, if this flap looks a bit wobbly, it's not perfectly straight, this end piece looks loose, that DC is about to fail and these plastic parts are going to fly off into your engine and cause major engine damage. Okay, so as long as those bits are all intact, the next thing to do is just look at the flap itself. When you turn it, does it return to its normal position? Okay, and that essentially shows that the piston, you should be able to see just here, as I rotate the flap, the piston moves. Yeah, turn it around the other way. Piston's moving, opening and closing a little vacuum pump in here. Um, that essentially shows that, that as the flap moves, as the flap rotates, there's a little hexagonal or octagonal shaped gear in here, and that rotates and pushes the piston. If this rotates and the piston doesn't move, it essentially means that gear has basically become rounded off. So if you were to open up instead of a hexing or I can't remember octagon shaped um, gear there, it's like completely rounded off. Okay. So what would happen is if you rotate it here, it would just stay there. There's no tension from the pump pushing it back into its normal position. All right. So so far so good. This diesel looks okay. So that's. Uh, the next thing, that was the la now, next thing to check on the DISA. The next thing to check is how good the vacuum pump is functioning. Okay, and the way you do that is there's a little hole here. Okay, so what you do is you rotate the flap, put your finger on that little hole, and then release the flap. If the DISA is functioning, if the flap vacuum pump is functioning well, then the flap should remain where it is I believe it should remain where it is or return to its position very slowly. I'm not entirely sure on that one. So we release now. Okay. So you saw it went to about 45 degrees and then gradually eased up. Okay. So it's not bad, but it's not great. It's not normal, I believe. Again, flap clo closed, finger on the little hole, and then release the flap. So it kind of went to 45 and then gradually eased off. Obviously the worst case scenario on the vacuum would be that you close, cover, and it just immediately springs back. That means the vacuum's not holding any suction at all. And obviously the best case scenario I believe would be that you close the flap, put the finger on the hole, and it stays exactly where it is. If that's the case, then your DISA is in, well, the vacuum pump and the DISA is in excellent condition, okay? Um, yeah, so that's that's the DISA, just checking the state, the health of your DISA. Um, what does the DISA do? Um, I'm not entirely sure, but I think above 4000 RPM it helps control how much air gets into the engine. Uh, so my DISA is about, not the healthiest DISA, but certainly not the unhealthiest DISA. What am I going to do? Well, I'm going to fit it back in for now. Um, do a little bit of reading up on some of the upgradable parts you can get for the aluminium shaft, different end piece, different gear in here and whatnot. And I think you can maybe get a replacement pump or something. However, I do have one big concern about that is this is a one piece unit designed and built by BMW to be put together once and only once. It's not like a valve cover gasket that you can take it up and replace a little rubber gasket, put it back together. Okay, BMW will not sell you any serviceable parts for this unit. Okay, so if you take it apart, put it back together, specifically this shaft and this end piece, I would question the overall integrity of the unit, specifically this flap 
an end piece. Okay, if you've seen some of the videos online of um, people um, taking apart the D7 in the back and this end piece, you'll see that she's one of the women. She's pretty brutal at taking this end piece off. Um, so yeah, I think that would, although the unit might be functioned correctly, I would question how long specifically this flap section would last. Um, once you've taken the D out, it's not that difficult to, once you've done it, to remove it and then periodically, maybe once a year, just check on the condition of the flap. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do a bit more research, look into a bit more and decide whether it's worth replacing some of the parts. Or as it is, I'll probably check on it periodically every year. And as this vacuum pump is getting closer and closer to failure, then I'll I'll probably just replace Adisa. Cool. If you've got any questions, just post your comments, and um, you can even go into my blog spot for some of the DIYs and upgrades I've done on my E46. Cool. See you later.